Many years ago, I journeyed with the Maharaja of India to the Island of Time, intending to claim its secrets. What we discovered was a barren, beautiful place. Strange tales of its walls which spoke of the Empress of Time. Of this enigmatic creature, we returned to India with treasure. Hourglass covered in jewels and books. Such secrets they contain. For even then, I was an older man and knew that my time would soon be at an end. The books showed me that life eternal was not beyond my reach, but it required the essence of the Empress herself the power of the sand. But you were gods, they were gone. So I. Left that dream behind. Four months ago, the dagger stirred. She whispered to me in my sleep. It drew me towards Babylon. Alas, the Maharaja did not share my vision, would not grant me leave. So I slew him and claimed his kingdom, his army for my own. Nothing would stand between me and my desire. Recklessly, the prince drew his weapon and charged forward, intending to rescue me. It was as if he had learned nothing from his past adventures. Or perhaps he'd simply forgotten, made blind and deaf by fear and rage. This is how it happened. This is how I died. No! Vizier! Ah, you must be the Prince of Persia. Come home at last. Too late, I'm afraid. I believe I have something of yours. <coughs> no!
forgive what I have done, wherever you are. Should I continue from here? Good. This is a fine place to start the tale next time. This where I should resign will continue my story from here next time. Ha! 
Once more, the wheels of suffering are set in motion by my hand. In taking Kylina from the island of time, I have changed the course of history. Without the sands of time, I never journeyed to Azad, never killed the Vizier. Now he lives again, driven by the same mad desire. I promised no harm would come to her. Should I continue from here? Good. This is a fine place to start the tale next time. I am being pushed deeper into the palace, and further from my enemy. My arm! What's happening? What has the Vizier done to me? I don't... Everything had come full circle. The prince had resurrected his greatest enemy. Worse, he had accidentally delivered me into the man's hands, unleashing a nightmare plague across Babylon. As if this was not enough, the prince had nearly been transformed by the sands himself. Though he had avoided death, he had not escaped entirely untouched. Wake up, prince. Wake up. Wake up! The way behind you is gone, so you'll have to find another exit from these sewers. Is this where I should resume the tale next time? Be quick about it. Start moving. What? Who's there? <sighs> Be careful. The planks are slick. Mind your balance. <sighs> Not seem to like the light. Lead them into the light. Strike while they are blind.
Why then is this happening to me? You have been infected by the sands of time, as I am sure you have noticed. Maybe it's the dagger, maybe it's all the time you've spent amongst the sands, or <laughs> amongst the Empress. Either way, you are resisting it. Mostly. Mostly? You did just transform into something rather unique, so I think the word is quite appropriate. Think of it this way. You have been given a gift. You're stronger, faster. Uglier. Now, now. That explains the transformation. But who are you? Have you not realized? I am your untapped potential, your unrealized dreams. I am part of you. You... You're inside me?
gone now. Water seems to fight this corruption. Why did you hide this from me? What? Ruin all the fun? Should I continue from I will continue my story from here next time.
When the prince was struck by the sands of time, something was woken within. Something strange and cunning. Something dark. The seven years spent on the run had embittered the prince and made him whole. This burden sustained his other half, gave it strength. The prince was tempted to do as it said, for it was a light in the darkness, offering comfort and guidance to a man who had just lost his life. For what were its intentions? Why did it help him? Only time to go. It's a fine place to start the tale next time. Babylon. It's so far away. As a child, father would tell me stories. Pay attention. Something's happening down there. He has been completely transformed. Interesting. He has used the power of the sands to transform his army. And these artifacts will allow him to transport them across the city with ease. He appears to be in complete control. Things do not look too good for you at the moment. I will not let the Vizier have Babylon. My city. My throne. that beam as a gate. We will follow him through it. certainly went according to plan, did it not? You really should know by now that entering portals made of sand only leads to trouble. I will simply have to resort to a more traditional form of transport. Hopefully with greater success. Separate them into two groups. Send them to the The strong must go to the palace and arena for changing. Thank <laughs> you. 
skill. <laughs> I can just, I can just taste it. Wonderful. Do we not have enough to deal with already? <laughs> that chariot should get us home. Sure, you can control this thing. Let us hope. If I crash, it is the end for both of us. The prince. Stop him. And so, once more, the prince began the journey home. His mind of fire with visions of the justice he would visit upon the vizier. Vigilant.
done well, Prince. Though I am sure it was not intentional. The once bright and vibrant streets of Babylon now stood all but deserted, its inhabitants either dead or fled. Those left behind suffered terribly, captured, tortured, and transformed. But the prince did not notice this. So focused was he on the vizier. I'm impressed. Oh, good. Your opinion means a great deal to me. Is that how you thank the man who just saved your life? First, you did not save my life. I did. Second, you are not a man. Just a disembodied voice. A ghost. And third, I never asked for your help. And I certainly do not need it. While I admire your bravado, you would be wise to show some respect. And you would be wise to keep quiet. You are distracting me and we are no longer alone. Shall I continue my story? I will continue my story from here next time. Nothing wrong. Save your crying for someone who cares. I should do something. Go ahead, all to your death. That will be of great use to them. Why am I always stuck with guard duty? Yeah, betray this bend out home. Waste my time. Continue until you have defeated the Vizier. You cannot help these people. Then let us make haste.
Let me know when you have the time to hear more. them before they steal any more from you. Was dream. Babylon's defenders still live. The city is not yet taken. Perhaps father is among them. Is this where I should resume? Good. 
This is a fine place to start the tale next time. there you have done me a great service show yourself that I might thank you so very strange I wonder no it is silly to think such things little detour. But let us be on with it. Head down to street level and we will look for a way to regain the rooftops. You are an insistent inner voice, aren't you? Well, someone has to make the decisions.
Continue my will, continue my story from here next time. I don't like the looks of this. This thing was once a man. He was there when Kylina died. Keep away from me! 